Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today we've got some new news that apparently there might be a Luke Skywalker miniseries in development for the Disney Plus streaming network. For those that have not been following, we all know that Disney is really not in the best place when it comes to their Star Wars property, seeing that a lot of their products have really not just done that well. We go back to Solo with Star Wars Story. We go just to the fact that they are, t you know, the soy, <laughs> they're uh, soy, really, uh, but they're toy sales sales have not been very good. You now see a lot of things at the Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, basically in the bargain bin, and it's normally not going to be this way for Star Wars. Star Wars has really sold very well when it comes to these things in the past, and it looks like they're trying to bank on nostalgia for a lot of different things, and that even includes having a Luke Skywalker mini-series, even though they, <laughs> at The Last Jedi, decided, no, we don't need Luke Skywalker anymore, which most of us said, nope, that's a really dumb decision. But apparently this comes from TVO, and it is a rumor. They've also put out other rumors in the past, so it's really hard to see and gauge whether or not there's any reliability to that. But apparently, according to the person over there, he states, there are two ways in which we are taking talking about how to pursue this. One way would be to have it take place with different, much younger actor, possibly Sebastian Stan, which actually could kind of be interesting, to be perfectly honest, if they were going to have to choose a different actor. He goes to indicate the show would take place after Return of the Jedi, the same time frame The Mandalorian is taking place. Post Return of the Jedi, we are talking Luke right after Return of the Jedi in return, in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. He adds the other option would combine the premise of the pre-Force Awakens Mark Hamill flashing back and forth, talking about the time period, which, again, I think could be interesting also. And obviously, I think that this is them just trying to bank on nostalgia because that's just what Disney has been doing lately. They've been trying to bank on nostalgia and it's been pretty successful for them for the most part. You go ahead and look to the live action remakes, look to the fact that they're top, like in their top six movies, they've got a bunch of sequels and live action remakes that are all the way up there. So they're totally trying to bank on that. And Star Wars too, you've seen that they banked on nostalgia with Force Awakens. They made a crap ton of money. They went off the reservation a little bit when it came to <laughs> The Last Jedi, but still banked on people who going to see Luke Skywalker and ended up pissing off a lot of people in the process. And yeah, the film made 1.3 billion, but then it's also kind of put them in a bad position because then Solo, A Star Wars Story lost 200 million right after that and at this early point, people are speculating that the Episode 9 film could only just barely break a billion dollars, which you might think, yeah, that's pretty good though, it's still breaking a billion, but for a Star Wars film, especially in comparison to the others, it would probably not be very good, and as you can hear, my little my little dog, Willow is is upset because um, River is is sick, and we had to separate them for a little bit and she is, she's not happy about it. She likes having attention, and she likes the family being together, and she likes being able to play, uh, but Willow, I mean, rather, River has not been able to play today because she's been sick, so uh, please keep her in your thoughts if you can, but yo, it's okay, Willow, it's okay, but what are y'all's thoughts about this? Like, honestly, I'm just, I think Disney needs to stop with the nostalgia. Go ahead and make new stuff. As, as again, as much as I like Sebastian Stan, and I think that he could actually probably work as a younger Luke Skywalker, as cool as it would see to see Mark Hamill coming back in a role and being able to play the character. Obviously, I think he's too old to play this character post-Return of the Jedi, but I think that, in the end of the day, they need to get the current crop of Star Wars stuff right, which includes Episode Nine, which I think it's way too late to fix, and also The Mandalorian, which, again, I think that there's a lot of promise for it based on everything that has been revealed to us by Jon Favreau, but this jury is still out on that decision. It really is all going to come down to that. I don't trust Disney under Lucas... I mean, I do not uh, you know, trust Disney's... Uh, ownership of Lucasfilm, especially with Kathleen Kennedy in charge. And as long as Kathleen Kennedy is in charge, and as long as we still don't have official word that Ryan Johnson's gone, I really won't trust anything that they have to do, especially if it has anything to do with my original characters. But anyway, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Do you think that they're going to have this series? And also, uh, do you think it's going to be any good? I guess I said there has some potential there, but in all honesty, I think that this would just be yet another attempt for them to try and bank on nostalgia without actually delivering anything. So let me know your thoughts about this and all the other things I talked about in the comments below. It's a short video today because, as I said, do have a sick dog, and so I want to try and take care of her as much as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and as always, God bless.